My name is Ansuman Adabo. I'm the founder and secretary general of Sankande Youth Development Association and also a pro the project coordinator for community-based mangrove restoration and conservation in the Gambia. So in 2012, um, uh, a pilot project was launched in, in, in Bruman Bridge, that's Kalaji, where our community members participated. So after participating, they've you know, come together and realized that we have, there's a need for us to do the same replica project in, in San Kandi. Before, our mothers used to have a lot of, you know, rise from their rice field due to you know the fertility of their furrows or the, the rice farms they cultivated so each year they have bumper harvest but when mangrove dieback happen um, that harvest has been declining each year until today where we are they i can say 50 percent of women have now scaled down their rice production because of you know salt intrusion into their Farus. Before they used to have more than 1,000 hectares plus, so now it's, it's less than, far less than that because the um, majority of those farrows were abandoned completely. Now they into the dry land where they do their, you know, they cut the forest and then do the rice cultivation there instead of inside the farrow. So dramatically, comparatively, I can say 25 percent of that uh, arable land is what is left for them to cultivate, which is not sufficient. Mangola fa, I am an toro dinner. Can do na beji, ntolia ante uluta balit ba abulol, bar mangko. No, de Marano had a suit on it at the senior son. And look, some of her and the neat at her. Mutolaka Faron car to Tuli, Ba and car to Tuli, but Mount Cola Beggy, Mount Cola water beauty. I have seen my people, you know, moving from the era of, you know, consuming, consuming you know, rice that are produced locally in our rice field to rice that are bought directly from the shop. This has caused, economically caused them to be financially in, 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 in insolvent to cater for the family as required. Unlike before, when the whole harvest is being kept for the family consumption. Mangkuturo dati ta nyalan, abete atan. Kalun tolia nyo nime no tutu jana jana, inye teman. Wole pao no distutu ta loko jana doba na. So basically, when mangrove die back happen, Rice production decline, rural urban drift increases because of there is no other, you know, job opportunity or life, you know, socio-economic life activity in the rural community. Ante mama kabili ante mama jamano. Into ayo fa ma balundi imbale kono. Nde fa ma fa ante balundi imbale kono. Baribi into buka baluno imbale kono. Buka baluno imbale kono. Ati na lefang jalo sometimes ka pagle na turu lo chika na ka masoya. Because of ten from Kubuga Maba. And then the farmer more long. The farmer do cut a lombard and to Balundu or Lapo Alayata. As a kid before, we normally have a lot of catch when fishermen came to the river banks or riverside for fishing. And we've witnessed it not once, not twice. Whenever they came in, there's a lot of um, uh, catch they used to have. 
and they distribute within the community. In fact, it will just, if the amount is that much, they will distribute it to the neighboring communities where you know fish is you know scarce or they are in need of the fish. Then in the last year time, just 20 years now, I will see uh, maybe 15 years ago, no need at a bad bad alpha. We bad ago, Yanni Hero of Tutumi, bad bad empty in it. Femfer in the year, you will be room for a bar. You look at Fenja, you look at green, any green things you got here. If they mend your wall of Mubala, you will be room. Only day trees you hold on a year. Jan sometimes a catale weeks sometimes. Salon <laughs> The benefit of the mangrove conservation and restoration um, is it varies. Um, in the side of women, they've uh, actually started cultivating the abundant rice field that, had, that they have abandoned. And also, the salt intrusion has declined significantly. The fishing is coming back as a lost trade before, but it's coming back again. So automatically, the conservation and restoration of mangroves has brought all these things back, unlike before. But being man called Lota, man to talk to Master Sang, only cut into Fanny Cairo. Was in England being your of an honey, you first name being your of Fandan. Later I become worse. In the Safan, near Fan, the Dobby Sokono, of an Safan. Right now, our goal is to plant one million mangrove proper goals. That is depending on the support we get and uh, also we're trying to see how best we can involve not only the youth but women in our conservation effort through you know uh, giving them or training them in sustainable development goal initiative to develop their own enterprises that can be climate friendly and then also empower communities especially horticultural farmers within the community by you know, giving them the required needs or the material they wanted to scale up their horticultural production. the <laughs> Conservation and restoration of mangroves has, you know, brought a lot of courage to me. And in fact, it has given me zeal to do more in other communities within Sankandi, uh, within LRR and outside LRR, so that, you know, our environment, especially our wetlands, can be protected. Fishermen who have lost their trade can get their trade back. And then communities who are facing the scarcity of fish 
we may, may no longer cry for fish because whenever mangroves are planted, fish are back, crabs are back, and that can improve their you know, health and you know, well-being within their communities.